Philosophy is a study of the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality, and existence, usually as a way to find meaning or purpose to existence. What stands out to me regarding nihilism is its inherent rejection of any knowable meaning. Nihilism's principal statement is that it is impossible for there to be any objective meaning or purpose to existence. There is no way to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that what anyone is experiencing is reality, or even what anyone else is experiencing. For example, think of the color red. Your entire life you have grown up believing that this specific shade of color is red. Now what if someone else sees as to what you call red, as to what you perceive as blue? Human language lacks the ability to communicate the true essence of color. You couldn't reference it against anything, because they would see it as their own red. There is no way to know if what anyone is seeing is in complete conjunction with what you are experiencing. To summarize this in a few words would be, everything is meaningless. You can't objectively prove meaning, and thus nothing can truly have it. Life has no intrinsic meaning that applies to everybody. The popular perspective of this idea is that since everything is meaningless, the nihilist has no moral guidelines holding them back from being a terrible person. Mr. Rini's video summarizes it best. Uh, there's three main stereotypes that's generally associated with. All negative stereotypes, of course. Uh, the first being the, the suicide. The, the person that embraces the concept that there's no inherent truth and decides to be depressed and, and off themselves. The, the second major stereotype is the, the faux intellectual in the art house there. The, uh, the morally callow user of people who seduces married women and fulfills no obligations by the excuse that morality is not inherent and so he's just going to live by whatever strikes him as a good idea in the moment. And then the, the third stereotype is the monster, the, the Hitler or the Stalin, who embraces this will to power to become just an impressive, oppressive despot. And not a single one of those stereotypes, although there is some truth to them, not a single one of them actually embraces what a true nihilist is. These caricatures are based off of the limited understanding the general public has on nihilism, which is to say, not much. You don't think every Muslim a potential murderer because of 9-11 nor every Christian racist because of the Holocaust. Any idea can be twisted to fit the agenda of a sociopath, especially one as open-ended as nihilism. What nihilism is really about is more than simply shedding the trappings of modern morality with its limited scope and basis on popular opinion. Nihilism is about finding your own morals based around what you think is right. Of course, this will be affected by moral influences around you, so learning and philosophizing are paramount to creating a more perfect system for yourself. Nihilism is about embracing Nietzsche's concept of the Ubermensch, the next step in human evolution, capable of a level of compassion and understanding not possible as humanity is now. So when you think from a mustachioed friend, don't think of a sociopathic madman bent on the destruction of Western culture. Think instead of one of the most forward-thinking men of the modern age, intent on recognizing both his and humanity's failings and planning a way to overcome them. I'm not saying that nihilism is a philosophy to end all philosophies, just that it be given a closer look than what the general public has awarded it until now.